All right, this is Anwar of Anwar's Reflections. Today we're here with, can you introduce yourself, sir? Oh, I'm James Royal. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and who are you and what are you all about? Well, I'm about playing music, um, uh, uh, producing songs, music, uh, hip-hop, jazz, R&B, things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how long have you been in the music business? I'm not, I'm not really in, per se, in the business. I'm more in the business of uh, myself. I haven't really, like, you know, made no great deal of money. So at the moment, I'm just, like, creating a CD. Um, probably start trying to shop around, you know, get to meet people. Got to have something to introduce yourself when you go out to the world. Say, this is me, this is what I do, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah. Okay, and this is this is uh, your first album, second album? Or? Yeah, it's like the first one. Very first album? First one, yeah. Okay. Okay, and what's the name of it? Uh, 2 a.m. 2 a.m., okay. Yeah. All right, and what musicians or artists have influenced your work? Um, everybody's just about, man. I listen to so much music. It's like I'm influenced by all the great artists, you know, uh, the past and the future. So it's like, I don't know, it just kind of came together all at once, and this music came out. You know, so it's the only way I can explain it. Okay, okay. Now, uh, speaking to the album, you know, what was the uh, inspiration behind making this album at this time? Um, it just came natural. It was like um, we just started, this brother and I started hanging out. Next thing you know, this, you know, we had these opportunities and I started producing the music and we started recording. And that's basically what happened. You know? um, just like that. And the gentleman, uh, Carmen, helped us out a lot because uh, he plays with the tone ranger, I think he's a guitar player for them. And um, so he kind of helped us out in you know, recording the music and you know, all that stuff. Because most of this stuff, I like I said, it was just in a keyboard. And I had never uh, planned to do any real thing with it, you know. I didn't know anybody. So when I met Carmen, and, and Carmen, uh, you know, recorded all this stuff for me. I produced it, he recorded it. So. I was going to say, yeah, so, so who else is on, was on the album? Uh, us, actually, I, I did all the music, okay. basically, and it's just myself and Andre, A.K. Ballsy, that's it. It's just the two of us. So, yeah. oh, okay, and then Carmen is the one behind, the, the yeah, person yeah. behind the... Uh, uh, recording. The recording. In fact, Carmen uh, played the guitar line on Fool for Love, who did that for me. Did an excellent job on that, like a big props for that one, man. You know, so, yeah, it's just basically what I would say myself. I did basically all the music, though. Okay, and, and how was it working with Carmen and uh, Ballsy, your great, partners? Great, great, great. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Oh. Yeah, see, with things now, um, I don't have to argue with two whole lot of people. It's just, you know, um, him and I, and uh, we have disagreed on our songs, you know, and, and, and we've been heated moments, but that's my brother, and I'm, you know, that's he cool with me. So we just went back, started doing the music again, and, and finished it. And, and that's, you know, it really hasn't been a difficult thing, man. It's been real nice and smooth, you know. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, as far as this album is concerned, who do you think this album speaks to? You know, any specific group or is it a broad group? Um, the music lovers. That's what, that's what it speaks to, the music lovers. People who like music, you know. Yep. Okay. Okay. And... Um, how do you find inspiration as a musician? Um, that can come from anywhere. Um, I, I, I can just think of a subject. Like, say, if someone says, hey, I need you to write a song for um, this new car. And whatever that car is, I could just come up with lyrics and the music and everything to do that. It's really not, not that difficult. I find inspiration anywhere. It could come from anything, you know, basically, yeah. Okay. And in, in making this album, you know, did you fi find that you faced any challenges? And, and if you did, how, how did you overcome those challenges? Only challenges that we faced was uh, Carmen's schedule. <laughs> right. like, like, we would be set to record, like, on Monday, I'd be all hyped up. Yeah, you know, we're going to go in and drop these tracks, and he'll call. So, well, I can't make it tonight, you know, then it would be another month, you know, before we get around to it. That's why the CD took so long. But it was all good, though, you know, gave us a chance to practice and, you know, play and grow, you know, and come back and, you know, do another song and a couple tunes and go out in the world again and play and hang out, you know. So it was pretty cool. Well, finally, we're getting it done. It's finally done. And 
I don't know, man. Let's oh. See what happens, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and making the album over over the years, where have you performed? What venues have you performed at? Oh, all over the place, man. I lost track of some places. It's like Philadelphia, Warm Daddies, Natalie's, uh, Temple University, um, you know, Rutgers University. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, What's that university we played at, Ballsy, out here? Um, Ryder University. Ryder University, you know. Um, so I've been all over the place, man. Downtown, uh, Maxine's, uh, uh, you know, festival, jazz festival here in Trenton. So I've been around, you know, mm -hmm. hanging out. Okay. And, you know, uh, as far as the album is concerned, like, you know, in one word, how would you define the album and why would you say that? Mm. Let's see, how would I define it out? Soulful. Yeah, soulful. Soul music. <laughs> Soul music? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and why would you say that? Well, because um, the, the, uh, the, the songs, um, just like uh, Ballsy pointed out, when created them, they're all different, mm -hmm. and all of them had has a certain meaning to me, you know, it's like, um, so, and it's real soulful, you know, I took my time when I, I, I you know, I had to, not a great, uh, you know, uh, keyboardist, but I had to play those songs, you know, over and over again until I got them, so that's why I said it's like, you know, soulful, you know. Put your heart and soul into yeah, it. it kind of like came out that way, you can hear it. Okay. And any particular track on the album that you really like or is your favorite and why? Um, Fool for Love. Because, n not because it's the, it, it was the hardest song to record. It was. Hardest song to record. Because it took so much out of me when I went to play it because of my condition. It was like hard for me to keep going. It's like pushing and pushing. And that's the way I wanted to sound, so I had to stop, you know, and, and I had an episode I had to stop and, and, you know, regroup again, start over. And it just took so, so, uh, so difficult to record, but finally I got it. And actually, um, when this video airs, I'm getting ready to redo it again. I just go to show you. Oh, that's why it's my favorite song. It's the most challenging. You know? mm. So you said at the time you, you had a condition. Uh, I don't yeah. know if that's too personal. What, what, what no, kind of condition? Well, well I'm, I, was on, I was on dialysis. So, oh, okay. And this particular night, we were there playing. And I just had an episode. I got the sweating because this song was just so physical, you know, the, the, the rhythm and the way I was playing it at that time. If I could have kept that up and finished that song, it would probably be, probably be a hit record, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But so I just had to, you know, just go back in and do it again and, I think this is like the third time you know, finally gonna go finish it. Mm -hmm. And and how many tracks overall are on the album? Well, we did like um, I think twelve or thirteen, but I decided that you know and, and put all the, those tunes on it. They just didn't kind of fit the the vibe of the CD. You know, it was just yeah, you know, too lot of too lot of content for it. You know. Okay. And I, I so is this, is this one of those CDs where I can uh, pop it in my car and just just vibe, or or is it like a CD I pop in there with my girl, or what kind of? Well, hopefully you be able to do all those things. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. It's a pretty nice, nice CD. You know? The music is that that is real nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Mr. Royal. Thank you, man. You know I hate doing interviews. You may be glad I did this. They talked me into this. But...